Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, general reading uh, for Pisces. What lessons do you need to learn for October 2022? We are going to see what uh, lessons you need to learn, and then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what advice we have for you, what you need to look out for, work on, okay? Um, so uh, this reading could be about anything. So um, We'll see what comes up. You could apply this to any replacements. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So, um... So Pisces, let's get started. Tell me about Pisces here. What do we have for Pisces? What lessons does Pisces need to learn for October 2022? What lessons does Pisces need to learn for October 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, Jupiter, Saturn. It, uh, it could be any replacements, like I said. All right, Five of Cups in the world. You know, I feel like there's a lot of grief. There's a lot of disappointment and regret that you still haven't let go, that you're still holding on to Pisces. We have the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. We have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like I feel like you go back and forth. Sometimes you're like, okay, but then sometimes you go back to it. Um, I feel like, you know, the sadness or the grief really pulls you down or really pulls you back. But I feel like you're trying to find a light here. I feel like you're trying to perhaps seek, uh, you know, some sort of help or advice here. But, you know, there's a bit of a back and forth. You know, somehow, like, it's, you know, you know, it doesn't, you know, holding on to things doesn't really serve you, but it, it, in a thing it does because maybe, you know, so it, it's like an energy is sort of like getting used to it and sort of like giving you some sort of comfort, you know, but I, I feel like you do want to get out of it though, Pisces. We have the Queen of Wands here and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, I just feel like there's an energy that you want to sort of like break free from this grief and this regret uh, you know the disappointment that you've been going through here uh, i just feel like there's an energy of sort of like people letting you down and i feel like you know there's an energy of also feeling like you have let yourself down too the five of cups okay we have the eight of cups yeah there's like great difficulty in walking away from this I feel like that Eight of Cups should be in the reverse because like there's a sense of like walking away and then going back to it, like re revisiting it, the world. And then we have the Hermit here, Virgo energy. So what's happening here is that Pisces, I feel like you're doing some soul searching. You're definitely doing some a lot of inner work to really move past this because, you know, I feel like there's the energy of, yes, I, I, I have, but it sort of like comes back up again, you know? So, um... Tell me about the Hierophant. We have the Two of Cups here. We have some twos here. There is a decision that you have to make. Maybe there's a decision that you have to make on a relationship here. Because there's maybe there's a relationship that you're holding on to that you're having a hard time letting go. You know, it's like, you know, you're fine one moment and then you're reminded of this person and, and you want to go back. Okay, so with the Six of Swords, yeah, there is a stuck energy. There's an energy of not moving. The Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. You know, with this, I feel like, you know, there's a shift here where I feel like, you know, perhaps you have high expectations of people where you give your energy freely and you maybe expect it back in return. But I feel like that has never really happened. Okay, and I feel like you're going to stop that with the Ten of Swords here. Okay, um, tell me more. What else does uh, Pisces need to know? Al uh, advice for Pisces regarding their lessons here? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to, what do they need to work on for October 2022? We have the Four of Wands here and the Nine of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Okay, Four of Wands and the Nine of Wands. 
Three of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then we have the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords, so Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. There is a relationship where I feel like, you know, they're having a hard time moving on from. There's a difficult time of really letting this go. Yeah, there's a sense of wanting to go back. It's like, but you also want to stand up for yourself. You also want to have boundaries with somebody here too. Four of Wands, Three of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Wands and the Ace of Wands here. Oh, hold on. All right, Three of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So there is a relationship here that there's still pain that you're holding on to. Perhaps with the Ace of Wands, it could be an indication that you want to restart things with this person. Or maybe someone here is trying to restart things with you. Three of Pentacles here and the Four of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Yeah, there's an energy of holding on, refusing to let go here. And I feel like even though that this could be bad for you, I just feel like there's a diff there's great difficulty here in letting it go. Seven of Wands. We have the Page of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. It's like you're also waiting for that sincere apology from this individual here too. Or that you're waiting for someone to apologize. You're waiting for this person to change, okay? Or that you're waiting for this person to revert back the way that this person was when you, know, when you first met them. But perhaps the truth of the matter is, you know, maybe this person deals with other people here too, or that this person just wants to have a good time, have fun. This person's not looking for anything serious, okay? So uh, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.